In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, Magor was the second son of Aegon I Targaryen. His mother was Aegon's elder sister wife Visenya Targaryen. He was the third king of the Targaryen dynasty, usurping the throne ahead of his half-brother Aenys's children, and is infamously remembered as a brutal tyrant. Aegon I kept a mobile royal court, making royal progresses around his new realm to bind it together, and while the Red Keep was still under construction. Aegon kept in ease with him as his heir, while Maegor was raised back at the ancestral Targaryen castle on Dragonstone. In time Maegor was commonly referred to as, the Prince of Dragonstone, though at the time this was just a nickname, it became a byword for his status as Aenys's presumed heir. Maegor was a preternaturally skilled swordsman, not unlike the later Jaime Lannister, at the age of barely twelve he easily defeated squires five years older than himself. He was one of the youngest men ever knighted, at only sixteen years old. In contrast, Aeneas was physically frail and no great warrior, better suited to the comforts of court life and a patron of the arts. While Aeneas wore fine silks at court, during his own reign Magor most commonly wore armor, because he was constantly on military campaigns. When the two brothers were young, Aeneas bonded with the dragon Quicksilver, one of the progeny of Aegon I's original three dragons. Magor, however, refused to bond with any of the other half-dozen dragon hatchlings at the time, claiming none were worthy. Apparently, Magor was holding out for his father's own mount, Beleriand the Black Dread himself, the greatest living dragon. After Aegon I died of a stroke in his old age, Magor successfully bonded with the great beast, and used him to devastating effect in crushing those who rebelled against the Iron Throne. Aegon the Conqueror maintained a polygamous marriage with both of his sisters, Aenys's mother Rhinus and Magor's mother Visenya. Aegon himself always treated Aeneas as his heir apparent because he was older than Magor, though given young Aenys's frailty, there were some who muttered that Magor should be his heir, given that he was his firstborn by Visenya. Those who said this were chiefly Visenya herself and her supporters, though Aegon I would hear none of it. Aegon I was still wary of offending the faith of the Seven, and promised them that his family's marriage practices of incest and polygamy, which the faith considered abominations, were a relic of the past which they wouldn't continue in the future. To assure him of this, he had Aeneas marry Elissa Velaryon as a political match, who was mother to all of his children. Thus, the birth of Aeneas's own children pushed Magor even further back in the line of succession as by the normal laws of Westeros an uncle only inherits after his elder brother's entire bloodline is extinguished. Magor's mother Visenya didn't give up on her ambitions in court politics, however, pushing for Magor to one day succeed ahead of Aeneas. Thus when Aeneas's first child was born, his daughter Rhyna, Visenya urged Aegon I to betroth her to her Magor, her own half-uncle. Aegon I, however, dismissed the suggestion, both because he didn't want to risk offending the faith with such an incestuous marriage, and, it is believed, because he had become frustrated with Visenya's constant attempts to usurp Rhinus's son Aeneas with her own. To further appease the High Septon, Aegon made Magor marry Ceres of House Hightower, the High Septon's own niece. As the years passed Magor failed to produce any heir, and there were fears that he was sterile, causing him to lose supporters, who didn't think it was worth upsetting. Aegon I's intended succession for an heir who couldn't continue the family line anyway. After their father Aegon I died from a stroke in old age, in 37 AC, Aeneas succeeded to the throne. Four separate localized rebellions immediately broke out trying to seize on the opportunity of what they perceived as Aegon's weak successor. In the Iron Islands, at Harrenhal, at the Eyrie, and the Vulture King, leading a bandit army in the Red Mountains along the border with Dawn. Their bastard uncle Auris Baratheon died from his wounds successfully putting down the insurrection in Dawn, and the current hand of the king died putting down the rebels at Harrenhal, while Magor used Beleriand to successfully crush the rebels in the Vale. When the rebel lords heard Magor and Beleriand were coming, they surrendered without a fight and executed their ringleader Jonos Arryn, who had overthrown and killed his own brother Ronald to seize power, by throwing him out of the moon door. They hoped that their surrender might gain them mercy but Magor ordered them all hanged regardless. As a reward for his success in handling the rebellion in the Vale, Aeneas named Magor to fill the vacant office as his new hand of the king. With Aegon I, Rhinus, and now Auris dead, Dowager Queen Visenya became the last of the conquest generation of Targaryens, and she did much to aid her son Magor's rise in power. Aeneas even gave Magor the ancestral Valyrian steel sword of House Targaryen, Blackfire which had been carried by their father, 
openly acknowledging that Magor was a better warrior than he ever was. For a brief two years, the two brothers ruled the realm together in peace. Yet Magor grew increasingly frustrated with his childless marriage, as Anise continued to produce more heirs of his own to push him far down in line of succession, and the High Septon would never grant Magor a separation from his own niece Ceres. Eventually, two years into Oenus's reign Magor polygamously took a second wife, Alice of House Haraway, the ceremony performed by Visenya, as no Septon was willing to perform it, although it was not an act of incest, the main source of conflict between the faith and the Targaryens, but polygamy, it angered the faith so much, since incest and polygamy are both considered as heavy sins, that Anis had to strip him off his office and exile him to Pentos. Anise then announced that he was making, Prince of Dragonstone, the official title of the designated heir to the throne, and that he was bestowing it on his son Prince Aegon, to dispel any lingering sentiments that Magor was his direct heir ahead of his own children. With Magor gone, there was no pragmatic restraint on Oenus's poor decisions. Despite an already strained relationship with the faith, due to Magor's polygamous marriage, two years later Anise foolishly announced the marriage of his daughter and eldest child Reiner to his eldest son Aegon, that deed poured oil on the flames, directly sparking the faith militant uprising. Anise was physically and emotionally overwhelmed by the rebellion, and fled King's Landing entirely to withdraw to Dragonstone, where he became nearly catatonic and is said to have died of cramps brought on by the stress, though many suspect that Visenya poisoned him. Whatever the case, barely an hour after Oenus's body was cremated, Visenya flew to Pentos on Vigar to retrieve Magor, who flew back with her to Westeros riding Beleriand. 